การให้ข้อมูลกับลูกค้าโดยเฉพาะวัยรุ่นและนักเรียนให้ทราบถึงปัญหานี้เราจะสามารถลดการบริโภคน้ำอัดลมซึ่งจะเป็นวิธีหนึ่งในการช่วยลดปัญหาภาวะลูกร้อนได้ขอความกรุณาท่านอาจารย์ให้ความคิดเห็นเรื่องนี้ค่ะ Thank you Of course you can inform the more the better I heard that uh, soda consumption is not very good for your health anyway. But you can't just uh, tell them to quit everything. <laughs> It's difficult to tell them to put down a piece of meat already. So the thing is, meat consumption has uh, terrible karma for yourself and for the world. w e l l soda maybe is still not so bad. So concentrate on the vegetarian diet first, and even then we will have enough water for making soda or anything, or take ten baths a day. Meat eating consumption uses up more water than anything else. So even if you and I try not to bath for a year or something, it's still nothing compared to what they use to produce the meat. So you can inform the soda company, you can inform the younger people or your children not to drink it. But uh, it's not like the number one priority. Everything helps, of course. You can give them all the fact if you can find them on the internet about this uh, soda producing problem. Otherwise, just concentrate on telling them to eat vegetarian, because when they turn to vegetarian to save the planet, then their consciousness will change to more compassionate, more loving, and then the karma will change. And maybe the soda will <laughs> eliminate itself. Once you'll be vegetarian, you're more clear, and then you would choose a better, healthier drink, even. Thank you. You're welcome. การลดทานเนื้อสัตว์เพื่อลดภาวะโรคร้อนมีความเป็นไปได้ในกลุ่มนักเรียนเนื่องจากโรงเรียนต่างๆเกือบทุกแห่งต้องมีโรงอาหารพื้นฐานไว้บริการอาหารกลางวันให้กับนักเรียนแต่ไม่ปรากฏว่ามีการขายอาหารบางสวิรัตมีบ้างตามโรงอาหารของมหาวิทยาลัยซึ่งมีส่วนน้อยหากมีการเผยแพร่อาหารบางสวิรัตที่อร่อยและมีคุณภาพทางโภชนาการตามโรงเรียนต่างๆและถ่ายทอดหรือแนะนําการทําอาหารบางสวิรัตให้กับโรงอาหารของทางโรงเรียนพร้อมทั้งมีการให้ความรู้นักเรียนเรื่องผลกระทบของอาหารประเภทเนื้อสัตว์ที่มีต่อภาวะโรคร้อนและพิษร้ายของอาหารประเภทนี้เชื่อว่านักเรียนคงไม่ปฏิเสธที่จะเลือกทานบ้างในบางมื้อเพื่อสุขภาพและเพื่อตระหนักถึงการมีส่วนร่วมในการช่วยรักษาโรคท่านอาจารย์มีความเห็นเรื่องนี้อย่างไรกรุณาให้คำแนะนำค่ะคุณมากค่ะ Yes <laughs> it's very good very good idea many of your brothers and sisters are doing that For example, they go to a university or school, kindergarten or primary school to demonstrate vegetarian diet and give the student sample. And the professors, the teachers, and the student have pledged to become vegetarian. Many children know the cruel treatment of animals; they will stop eating meat, and also they know the benefit of vegetarian diet, and they will continue. But uh, it's still not fast enough, you know. I think we need uh, more cooperation from many angles, like the government, the press, and the people at large. Try your best anyway. Go to school. <laughs> Go back to school. Hello, master. Hello. In some country, there are a huge amount of vegetarian people, like Taiwan or India. This is because of the spiritual level of the country. For Thailand, is it possible to be like Taiwan or India? Thank you, Master. It's possible <laughs> if all the monks and nuns there turn into vegetarian diet, <laughs> because in uh, India, all the monks they eat vegetarian. They don't kill. They don't take meat. Even if they go out begging, the people knows they don't give meat to them. This is a tradition since a uh, long time. And in Taiwan, all the Buddhist monks are vegetarian, absolutely. Therefore, the people emulate their examples. 
So I uh, try to give all the uh, information to the monks first to see if it works. <laughs> uh, good luck. <laughs> good luck to, to your country. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Next question is, could you please advise us how to view a successful vegetarian restaurant in Thailand? Thank you, Master. You learn it from the existing uh, vegetarian restaurants, yeah? And you learn it from different brothers and sisters around the world. Right now, they open uh, Loving Hood restaurants uh, uh, in many countries now, and a lot in Taiwan, too. So if you want to learn experience from them, it's better to ask them, yeah? I have outlined, like, framework, okay, what to do and how and where. And I had to taste all the <laughs> delicious food that they forced upon me many days, many weeks, many months <laughs> before we have chosen some of the delectable uh, dishes to introduce to the public. So I have done all that preliminary work <laughs> for you guys. Now you ask them, okay? <laughs> I cannot just go to every restaurant and show you because I have shown already the framework to the first one, the headquarters uh, from Mali, and then they teach everyone else already. So you get the info from them, all right? Okay, thank you, Master. But also bear in mind that in Thai it's a little different taste also, so you have to include some of the Thai food. Yes, thank you, Master. Yeah, you're welcome. We thank you for your presence for today's Between Master and Disciples. Tune in tomorrow for part two of Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussion, Humans are inherently compassionate and loving. Animal World, our co-inhabitants, is up next, right after Noteworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. May the Providence guide us in wisdom and love.